I'm Chang Wen with Notebooks.com, and today we're here with Nokia and T-Mobile at the launch of the Nokia Astound. Henry, can you give us a little bit uh, more information about the phone and some of the background behind the hardware and the software? Sure. Uh, let's start with the hardware since we're here. So this is the Nokia Astound, as we're going to call it in the U.S. In the international version, it's called C7. So as you can see, it's a pretty uh, you know thin and slick device. Uh, we call this color frosty metal. So it's uh, we uh, select that with T-Mobile because it's unique. You know, it's not the black color we usually have on the device, and uh, we think that it will really uh, be uh, appealing to the audience we are uh, going after for this device, which are you know first-hand smartphone buyers uh, who are looking for their first smartphone, and they don't want to be overwhelmed when they buy their first smartphone. They want to have something that they can use right away, and for that we've created three home screen to make that really simple. The first one is about connecting and sharing. So where you can have access to your email here, you can have access to your calendar, and here, as you can see, you have the social networking client. Here is my Facebook you know, uh, feed that are coming. And then if we switch to the second screen, and we have three, you have access to what we call uh, the entertainment screen, where you have uh, Slacker Radio, which is a way to listen to your radio the way you want. So you just click on it, we can go to that, you have access to your music. And the other content is the uh, marketplace for T-Mobile. Uh, this game is, uh, you know, Fruit Ninja and access to the Nokia UV store. And one icon that I want to point out is the top apps, which is a way for to let those people who are discovering their new smartphone to discover new application on their device. And when they have new, when we have new uh, product launching on the OV store application, we will feature them here, so you always know what is the greatest and latest on the OV store. So let me go back to the home screen. Uh, because it takes a bit of time. And this is the last screen we, we selected, which is around, you can search on your device, everything that is on your device just by typing words. You can have access to your, uh, the, you know, the weather, as you can see here, it's uh, partly sunny. And also you have access to the photos and um, you know, uh, the news and Wi-Fi calling. And talking about going back to the hardware, I want to point out one feature on the device, which is the camera. And the camera is the 8 megapixel camera. There's very few device that has, uh, you know, uh, at this price that has uh, 8 megapixel camera. And what you can do, you know, you have different features, but you can also have access to front-facing camera on the device. So I will use front-facing camera, and now you have you on the. So uh, it gives you the ability to, you know, do video calling, and uh, there will be an application on the Office Store to do video calling. So that's the 8 megapixel camera, but you can also press, long press here and have access to the same camera, but now recording video at 720p, uh, so HD video basically, uh, pretty uh, fast video, so I can just press here and I'm starting recording. As you can see, you know, the quality is pretty good and, you know, you will be able to use that and uh, on your TV or on your PC. So it's pretty uh, slick and, and, and easy, you know, everybody can use it. And one thing you'll be able to do is to share that right away with your friend on Facebook by just pressing this button. So you don't have to go to a lot of navigation, but a lot of button to post your content that, you know, the latest picture, you just had a picture with, let's say, Tom Cruise, and you want to share that right away with your friend. You just type here, press it, and it goes straight to your Facebook. You add your content, obviously, that they ask me for my Password. We're not going to do that here, but right. you know, you, you, you see, uh, you see the the end of the, the story. So um, that's the Nokia Stone. Can we see the back of the device? Sure. The, the back of the device is, you know, the 8 megapixel camera. You have a flashlight, uh, you know, Xenon flashlight dual, uh, Xenon flashlight, and I can actually turn that on. Is this uh, Xenon or is it uh, LED flash? It's Xenon. Xenon? So yeah. it's the same flash that's on the Nokia N8? Uh, actually, let me correct it. It's the LED flash. It it's a different than the, the N8. Yes, that's a good. But it's a dual LED flash. As you can see, it's turned on. And you can use that for light, you know, when you're out with uh, your friend. I'm going to turn that off. So you oh. can use it as flash for photos yeah. and a video light for yeah, when exactly. you're capturing video. Exactly. And I see there are two speaker grills. Is it stereo speakers? Yeah, stereo it's stereo sound? speakers. Let me put the sound actually here. And you'll see for this device, you can 
it's a really sleek, you know, compact uh, design, but the quality... It has a nice curve yeah, to yeah. the back of the device so you can hold it comfortably in the hands, right? Exactly. Let me play some uh, music here and you see that the quality is really good. I know on the N8 you guys had a partnership with Dolby. Um, yeah. Is that partnership? Not on, on the on this device, but still the you know because it has this dual speaker, you know the, the, the sound quality is, again it's really good. You won't need more than that. And there's one uh, feature that you may have not noticed is let me go back here is the ability to um, actually let me go here. It's the ability to if I was listening to that same music. I'm, I'm going into my car and I want to keep listening to that music and I can stream that music from the this phone in my car by just selecting the right you know frequency in my car and streaming that music on my car so that are the these are the cool features you can also find on the on the, the, the Nokia star so it ha does it have an uh, you can stream to an FM radio to station. an FM radio station yeah is there an FM tuner so I can pick up local yeah you FM also have stations? the FM tuner which is also good but you need to have the heads headphone so act you know, as the antenna yeah exactly right? yeah as an antenna it's uh, and it's a great quality because it's gonna uh, stream all the frequency the great the best frequency and and put them here it's an RDS radio so you see the name of the station and sometimes if it, they broadcast some you know uh, content. Kind of you have title, that here right. as well. That's awesome. Yeah. So that's the the, the Nokia S9. It will come preloaded with some uh, games. I, you know, I can show you some games that will come with the device. So you have action bullying, and it will. You can use the motion sensing. Uh, that is the on the device to simulate, for instance, how you throw in a ball in the action for for the bowling. And labyrinth is obviously, you know, it's gonna be. Uh, it's it's like the labyrinth game. And you hold the, the device, so you keep the ball in the hole. And a Fruit Ninja, let's, let me start Fruit Ninja. You know, everybody knows Fruit Ninja. It's a pretty awesome game. Um, you know, easy to play. The reason why we have this game is, you know, we know people who are buying their first uh, smartphone want to play games. And they, they're not gamers. They just want to have fun right away. And these are fun and easy. Oh, you see, I'm not that good. But, you know, you see the, the, the drill. And, Picture quality, you see, it's pretty neat. It's an uh, AMOLED display, Gorilla Glass, so it's really sturdy. So I can swipe it. So there. is this the clear black display, the CBD display? No, it's not the clear black on this device, but still the quality, as you see, we are outside, and I don't know how the camera will capture it, but it's still uh, a great device. And I can take, I don't know if I have a picture, but I can, just to end maybe this demo, I can show you a picture uh, that I took uh, today, so you see the quality. And again, it's an 8 megapixel camera. Let me take, I didn't take that, but you see how it renders on the screen. The so screen's it's just pretty, beautiful. Yeah, it's three just, and a half inch display? Yeah, it's a three and a half inch screen display. Definitely. What are some of the ports that are on the device, just to cover some of the hardware again? So you have here the, a USB uh, port that is going to be used to charge the device. Um, and also, you also have a, an accessory that is called USB on the go, which is a cable that you plug in here, and then you plug in whatever USB accessories, whether it's a hard drive, a USB thumb drive, and it's going to, uh, you know, take the content and give you the ability to uh, load that on your device. So, so again, it's, it's called micro. a USB. It's a micro USB and USB on the go. So you have the headphone uh, display here. So you just plug your headphone here. Does no. the, I'm sorry to interrupt, sure. does the headphone jack support uh, video out or like it's it support, Yeah, it support video out uh, and uh, that's the only, uh, the difference, let's say for instance with the N8, you have the ability to also export the, on the HDMI uh, the video, but here it, it support the video uh, out from this. Oh. This. Headphone jack. Yes. So it's the on and off button. These are the on the side now. You have uh, the ability to control the volume and stop. And for instance, also if you are receiving a call, you can uh, turn on the, the the sound like you've left the you know the the phone on the normal mode and you listen. You you have a phone coming. You just press here. It's just gonna kill off the, the sound or if you are in a 
conference call, you want to uh, turn off the, 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 the microphone, you can press here and decreasing the volume. So this is the on, it's to put the, the phone in idle mode. So you just press. It's like a sleep wake button, right? Yes, exactly. And it's pretty easy to do. This is the shutter for the camera, the camera. whether it's the video or the, um, the, the still camera. So dedicated button for the camera. Dedicated button for the camera. Really practical. So when you have something happening, you just press here and off you go. And then the rest is this nothing else. You know, it's pretty slick. This is another hole that's a, a barrel charger uh, hole. So the phone will be delivered actually with a barrel charger that you plug here, but you can ha add uh, or buy any, you know, USB charging. So you can uh, charge in sync via the USB, the micro USB port or yes. charge via the small port here on the that side is correct. as well. That is correct. And here in the front, you see you have uh, the front facing camera here. Yeah, it looks like there's an ambient light sensor or proximity exactly. sensor. A proximity sensor. You, you know, you're doing the, <laughs> the whole thing for me. And then what is also important in some phone now, you don't have even the call button here you have a call so we can try that and see how it works you press here you have access to you know uh, the keypad and from here you can select your contact so that's my wife name so she will be on the screen she won't love it but you know and that's my contact so if I go back maybe you you, you miss it so just right now here we're just looking at the keyboard yeah. is this a swipe keyboard that's so it supports uh, swipe keyboard and so as you can see you know I can swipe here I'm not good at swiping I, I think I'm still learning but I support swipe so this is preloaded on the device it will be preloaded on the device that differences is between the N8 and the exactly. S down right it will be preloaded on the device and we know people love swipe the more, the more they use it the more they love it so you know I can just erase it um, and come back so you have all your contact obviously you have uh, you, and the picture you see here is coming from uh, my social networking uh, picture like you know on Facebook, the Facebook Twitter Twitter yes and it's really integrated like and if I click for instance on this contact which is my sister she won't be pleased with that but I can link her contact with my social network and it's gonna you know, um, import all the data from a social uh, network and, and put them here. Um, for the sake of this demo, let's uh, not do it, but that's that's the idea. I can show you one contact that I think has been imported, which is my wife's contact. Uh, some will say he doesn't even know where his wife's contact is, but here it is. So. I have all her name. The picture is coming for a uh, uh, Facebook picture. Um, you know, all the, the phone information that is she uploaded on Facebook will be here. So, you know, everything is really integrated so that you don't have to think of, oh, I have to go to Facebook, look at her contact and see her photos and try to take a photos and put that here. Everything will be uh, directly imported in your contact list. So that's the, the, the Nokia stand and then you know when you want to hang up a call you just press the red button so easy to do, easy to use and uh, available on Apple 6 uh, only at T-Mobile. And I guess the other unique thing about this is it's a smartphone, right? It uses the same Symbian 3 operating system that the Nokia N8 uses. Exactly. But it uses a regular feature phone data plan so you're only paying $10 a month for the internet portion. That is true, yes. You you can buy, actually, you'll be able to buy this uh, phone uh, starting on April 6th at, only at T-Mobile and if you sign up for a two-year contract, you'll get it at $79.99 with a $10 data plan. That's just amazing because yeah. data plans are just going through the roof. Exactly, days. and this is a great deal and, you know, most of the people who will be interested by this phone doesn't want to spend too much on the phone. They just want to experience the smartphone without having to compromise, without having to pay too much. So the phone is great, the data plan is great, and T-Mobile did a, a great price for, for most of the user in the US. Now with the data plan, we're, talk, we're looking at the browser. So can you tell us a little bit about the browser? I'm assuming it's a full, a full web experience and how is the browser different? I heard it's a little bit faster than the Nokia N8's browser. So. Yeah, it's it's uh, a, a little bit different uh, in terms of uh, you know our team has uh, improved the speed of the, the the browsing experience. So I'm gonna 
and Select. also like you have the menus a little bit more finger friendly and optimized exactly so as you can see if i click here you know it's more user friendly you know i can easily have access to my contact and let me do this for instance i will uh, select you know one link cnn or facebook and i think i selected facebook but uh, let's go to facebook and i want to you know at the same time i want to go to uh, cnn because i've heard there's a news coming uh, uh, from CNN, I just click here, I swipe the, the screen, I add another uh, uh, browser, I click here. I don't even have to click here, I should have go straight to the bookmark and I select CNN, and now I go to CNN, and I, if I want to go back to my uh, uh, Facebook page or whatever page I was in, and as you can see, I'm doing that fast actually, let me, you know, as you can see, now it's it's really fast. The, it loaded really fast. We are on 3G. We're not on Wi-Fi, so the you know it has a pinch. I guess it doesn't work on the mobile version of the page. Or does it? Yeah, it works. Right, let me actually turn it here so that you have a, a better. Let's go to the yeah. Let's full go back. Page is there? No, we are different. I think this is still the Correct. mobile version. Yes. You are pretty good actually. And let me. Uh, for some reason, I don't know, it's not working. So let's say we want to go back to the other page we loaded. So we just select that and we go back. Boom. And again, you know, we can, I can add additional pages here. Um, let's see. It's difficult to actually hold the device from where I am, but uh, I want to add another page. So I click here, I go bookmark, and I select uh, Fox Sports. I select Fox Sports. And again, it's, it's loading faster than uh, what you have on Enid, but it's probably another mobile version, so right. uh, we go on this. So basically, just to summarize what has evolved is the user interface for the, the browser is better, it's faster, and here, again, we are on the 3G, so it loaded pretty fast. The screen, the screen quality, as you can see, the picture are really well rendered, so I can... Not on the oh, yeah. there we go. Okay. Oh, fine. So it depends on the site, I guess, yeah. which site support. But I think it wasn't working because uh, it was probably still loading. But you know, as you can see, you know, you can reduce pinch zooming, and uh, you go on the picture, and it's gonna, um, you know, optimize it for the, the the reading. So that's that's the evolution of the the, the browser on the versus the N8, for instance. The hardware is it a faster processor than the N8? No, it's, it, it's it not. It feels a and looks faster than the N8, even when you're going through the home screens and when you're going through the different browser tabs. Yeah. So the reason is is faster is because uh, the version of uh, Aslan will be launched with a new software, and we are running the new software, which actually has improved the speed and you know the whole um, uh, smartphone experience and that's why you feel like it's it's faster because we're running a new uh, software i don't know when it will be available on the internet but uh, on the ads town it will be preloaded at launch at launch yes and then i heard about another new feature um the split messaging um can you demo that or yeah uh, and i will probably use my personal message but you know, if you go here, you have, uh, you click on a conversation. So you started a conversation. So I was <laughs> with my wife, so I need to, <laughs> I am going with my wife. So, you know, there's nothing to be ashamed about it. So the way it's been displayed, so I, she sent me a message, you know, I reply, you can see this here. So it's threaded yeah. and you can see where it's coming from. Exactly, and, and all exactly. And I, if I was uh, with another person, it would be uh, similarly uh, presented. So it's a much, you know, nicer way to present the, the messaging rather than just having the text. But if you don't like that, you can go back, for instance, to the old fashioned, old school fashion. So it's going to render this way. Okay. Right. So we better, I think most people will probably use this, this view because it's nicer. You have the emoticons uh, showing up and you can really see the feeds, what is happening. And you can always follow the conversation you've started with anybody. 
So here is just, uh, I just had one conversation with my wife since I turned on the device this afternoon for this uh, presentation, but you can assume that, you know, if you have multiple conversations, you will see them coming through here with uh, the different contacts you have. Um, and the phone, uh, the build quality, I always love Nokia phones, the yeah. N8's one of my favorites in terms of the camera and the build quality. Can you mm -hmm. talk about what materials are used? Like you mentioned the Gorilla so Glass and the AMOLED. Exactly. Let me, maybe, because that's the Gorilla Glass, you know, and I can put it on the table, you know, I put it and I scratch it here, but I'm just going to wipe it. Wipe and... Wipe it. It's like, you know, and this is not a... You know, I don't know what is the quality of the, but it, I scratch it, right? And it's still it's still working. So that's the Gorilla Glass, uh, and you have my fingerprint obviously <laughs> here that I'm going to remove. So it's as clean as new. And then this is stainless steel. I, you know, it's better for you to maybe hold it and to feel it. It's stainless steel. Is this these here. are? Is it this is plastic or? here for the antenna just to let the, for the reception. Senior, exactly. But the rest of the device, like here on the side, you know, is stainless steel, so it's really sturdy, it's really uh, a, a good quality. And uh, the, I think what I like also is the, the color. We picked this color with T Mobile, and actually, T Mobile picked that color, which is called, you know, Frosty Metal. Uh, because it was also different to the phone we have on the market, which are all all black. So you might want to have something that pops, you know, uh, more or differently to your your friend phone. So you have it here with the Nokia S10, and that's the only color that will be available at T-Mobile. I just wanted to stress that I love the curve on it. I thought the yeah. phone, the C7. Um, at CTIA mm -hmm. in October, and yeah. I just love the feeling of the curve, so I'm glad that T-Mobile adopted this as the sound. Yeah, definitely, and, and the way you, you were holding it, it's really feel well in the hand. So, it's a 3.5 inch display, but you don't, you actually don't even feel like it's a 3.5 inch. And again, for the people who are looking for this phone, uh, you know, paying for $79.99, $10 data plan, they really look for a phone that will give them the smartphone experience, but they don't want to put too much on the phone and spend too much, and this will give them every spot for their, their back. So exactly what they're paying for. Um, you know, we're really proud of this. T-Mobile is really happy, and I think uh, people will love this device when they hold it. The first thing I ask everybody who is interested by the device when it will be at T-Mobile is go there, grab the device, and feel it by yourself. It's the best way to experience what we we're trying to describe here. So when is this launching again, Henry? It's launching on April 6th. Uh, April and 6th, $80, yeah. two-year contract, $10 data plan. Exactly. Great. Only at T-Mobile. Great. Thank you so much, Henry. Thank you for your time.